Okay, our lovely OBS that I am recording this video from has an actual competitor and a really good one at that. Let me introduce you guys to Splitcam. Some of you might know about it, some of you may not know about it. Splitcam is just like OBS, but with a modern twist on it, so far as what I can see. And here I have a screen, for example, in the beginning, there was light. No, there was this picture here of my main screen. Let's blow it like that. See how easy it is to take it up and down. You can round all the corners or you can hold ALT or alternative down and round only one corner. Let me take this up here and this is my camera. You can uh, angle the camera here as you see or you can't angle if you don't want to and make beautiful scenes. You might add something else here, add something else here and yes hi it doesn't look good because there's lights above right there and in here is the second scene that you can switch to and yes this is just my channel now these are just basic and you would say what's that what's that doing anything new that obs doesn't have well obviously let me show you something else right here for example on this scene we go to add you can add web camera ip camera web browser and the eye source share your display which i'm doing here audio source and all that you would say that yes obs has them all but look how these are done here we go to microphones it lists all the microphones that you have in your computer and let's say to go go to my samson add it you click here at settings look at the settings that you have right here and turn on compressor and you can fiddle with it you can do the attack time 100 milliseconds and release it in let's say 219 milliseconds you can do noise suppression up and down gain filter up and down these are settings that on obs are there but sometimes you have to add filters manually one by one instead of having them all stacked right here and this is just one of the things that's available on this software and yes you can mute it here now you can add more let's say you want to add just from the system audio itself or application audio and application audio as you see i have obs studio nvidia geforce overlay live streaming software which is this one right here and the youtube browser that you see right here so you can add the audio from that particular window or app alone let's say you're gaming you want to add music or audio only from that game and nothing else while you have your microphone that's capturing your voice and nothing else this is a beautiful beautiful built to actually make it make sense and split your audio channels in a more professional and easy way and yes you can add much more scenes here if you want to as many as you would like i'm gonna stop at two right now this i'm not streaming and i don't know when am i gonna stream now let's go to these effects here that you can do quick adjustments to your picture as you see right here while you are live as as you wish to make your camera look better or worse or whatnot these are more settings now let me show you what you can do here if you click restream yes it says you cannot toggle it if you are uh already streaming but we are not streaming right now if you click it now it's on you go here add the channel and look how beautiful these are laid out now most of these i don't know what they are yeah well some of them i don't know what they are but you have twitch youtube facebook that are live right here you just go straight up log into your site and here you can do that either rtmp or custom channel uh with a stream name url and the stream key stream name could be for example i don't know twitter that we don't have it listed there you put stream url you put the stream key that you would, would get from Twitter and you start the encoding settings and all that. In my opinion, I cannot, I cannot express how easy and straightforward this is. It's extremely easy. And look what it does. Let's say you're streaming or gaming and you just want to pause it. You want to go get some water or go get a nice seat and the cold seat. Well, you click pause here while you're live streaming, right? Look what it does. Be right back and it automatically blurs the scene where it's at. I know it doesn't sound and look like a lot, but if you're a streamer 
or a gaming streamer, you know exactly that this means a lot that you can just click it without having to add new scenes, add in uh, effects or anything else. It comes from the box itself. So with that, for example, let's go to this scene that we are right now, right? And let's edit something on it. Let's click here, edit, and you can capture cursor or not. Click the three dots again. And here you have to, you can delete, you can select regions that we did from the beginning. Let's go to effects. What we have in the effects that come on the box, huh? You have a uh, lot or LUTs. Look at that, that you can change while you're streaming. So you can tweak your stream or game or camera to your exact color gradient that you would like. You have color and light right here, contrast that you can go up and down with it, as you see right here, to make it look to exactly your point and your preferences. Now, I am not sponsored by this company, so don't get me on that one. As you see here, you can blur, you can do directional bl blur. It goes sideways and all that directional blur. And you can set the angle for the direction of this blurriness. As you see, it switches the letters around because it's blurring in a different way. That is just beautiful. And in, in my opinion, this is worth a shot any day. As you see, look at the logo here, Omnitech, for example, and it looks okay. But look, as I sharpen it, the letters become much more legible. Some of them, because it's a small screen, as I said. And let's get back to uh, this effect. I forgot to show you something else. Uh, artistic. You can posterize it, morph, uh, F do morph effect. You can do the sepia or kind of black and white turbulence. You can go to the frames. You have a few frames. These are very simple frames for example let's say this window and you can have a window frame gothic whatever gothic stands for here let me take off the window you have a gothic frame and these are all from the box right out of the box masks now i don't have any and don't ask me where to get them because i have no clue in my opinion is this worth 100 percent 100 percent even though I don't know who these guys are from Adam. In my opinion, it's worth giving it a shot. This is the website. Let me put it big here so you guys can see it. I will leave a link in the description to this website where you can download Splitcam and it's splitcam.com. Yes, it was free download. I did not pay anything. I did not get paid anything. I just wanted to show it to you guys because I know there is a lot of you out there that are gamers and streamers and some of you may actually need a helping hand on setting up a stream and i think in my opinion this is just my opinion and please let me know in the comments if i'm wrong because i accept when i'm wrong this is easier than obs in my opinion this is much easier than obs and more straightforward than obs now i'm not bashing obs as i said yes i am using obs to actually record this video you are watching right now and i'm not gonna uninstall obs anytime soon but just out of curiosity if you want to see it go check it out link will be in the description below and yes the camera you saw is just a logitech webcam i'll leave a link in the description below for it the light probably and everything i use every time in these videos i try to leave as many links on the description below where you can buy them if you want to or take a look at them including software hardware and whatnot and with that said i hope you learned something and enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time bye